The heating, venting, and air conditioning, or HVAC main unit replacement process for Hummer vehicles 1997 and prior, utilizes two kits and a control head. A base kit, consisting of the main unit and mounting hardware, an installation accessory kit with model year specific HVAC system parts, and a control head with or without rear defog. Remember, when working with automotive HVAC systems, use only an approved neutral cure sealant for sealing procedures. After proper evacuation of the system and removal of the engine coolant, the HVAC main unit is removed from the vehicle according to the appropriate service manual. Additional HVAC system electrical harnesses have also been removed according to kit instructions. With the main unit removed, template A is positioned over the round intake and aligned and secured with three bolts. A marker is used to trace the area to be removed. After center punching the corners, holes are drilled to eliminate stress cracks from occurring. After cutting the body, always smooth and deburr all cut surfaces. Template B is used to locate the mounting hole for the left side main HVAC mount. The bottom of the template is aligned flush with the seam in the body. A hole is drilled and a nut insert is installed which will be used to secure the left side bracket. Some models will require the use of template C to mark the position of a new vacuum water valve bracket. Next, the existing hole in the side footwell will need to be covered. A neutral cure sealant is placed between the plate and the body. A one quarter inch nut and bolt are used to locate the plate. After the nut and bolt are tightened, holes are drilled into the body and the plate is secured with pop rivets. On some early model vehicles, template D is used to locate new resistor mount bracket holes and an additional harness hole. Using the new blower resistor mount bracket as a guide, the insulation under the bracket is cut and removed. The bracket is then aligned with the appropriate holes and riveted to the firewall. Next, a neutral cure sealer is used when installing plastic plugs. These plugs fill the original HVAC mounting holes. The new HVAC upper mount bracket is then positioned above the square intake cutout, aligned with the four holes previously drilled. The bracket is then riveted in place with the stud angled downward. A new retainer saddle is now installed. The saddle must be riveted in place from inside the passenger footwell. At this point, the right splash shield needs modification. The P-clamp securing the main central vent system line is removed, and a tie strap is then used to secure the vent line to the battery cables. After measuring five inches forward from the rear of the splash shield, the shield is cut and the rear portion removed. Next, a new hole is cut in the footwell for the HVAC manifold flange. Template E is positioned alongside the inner air cleaner mount bracket and up against the body seam flange. The cutout area is then marked and the 7 8 inch mount holes are center punched and drilled. The cutout area corners are then drilled and the material cut and removed from the footwell. To mark the holes needed for the lower HVAC mount bracket, template F is placed between the air cleaner brackets. Then the two holes for the lower mount bracket are drilled. A cut line is marked 8 inches upward from the crease in the floor padding and the padding is cut and removed. Any other foam padding present above this cut line must also be removed. The lower HVAC mount bracket is then riveted in place. Leaving 1 8 inch clearance above the floor padding, the closeout panel bracket is centered, drilled, and riveted to the footwell. In the next step, the bottom edge of the A-beam is used as a guide to mark the defrost duct. The lower portion of the duct is cut and removed. Some vehicles may require installation of a plastic cover inside the duct to eliminate air loss. Next. The right side outer windshield retainer is removed and a nut insert is drilled out. This will allow for proper duct alignment of the new unit. A new insert will be installed later. After applying a bead of neutral cure sealant, the white and black vacuum harness and the new blower harness are installed. 
The new blower resistor is now secured to the resistor bracket and the harness connected. After the harness and vacuum tubes are secured from interfering with installation, the main HVAC unit is prepared with sealants. The unit is then installed using the proper spacer and hardware supplied. The console mounting bracket is then reinstalled. In the next step, the footwell heat duct is measured, marked, and cut. The right portion is discarded and a new duct end is installed and secured to the main unit. The passenger footwell hose and the transition to the main HVAC unit are now installed. At this time, the engine cover is installed and all electrical and vacuum harnesses are connected to the main unit. The inner and outer kick panels are installed as well. The original control head is discarded and the new control head is secured to the retaining bracket. The bezel is then reinstalled on the console. On some older models, template G is used to mark a larger opening for the new control head. After installation of all components, the console can be reinstalled into the vehicle. After installing the courtesy light, door strap, and closeout bracket, the floor duct hose is secured and the closeout panel is installed. On all vehicles, part or all of the support foam is removed from the inside of the crash pad. The crash pad is then installed into the vehicle. Next, a new gasket and manifold block are installed onto the main HVAC unit. The mounting bolt is properly torqued and the high and low pressure hoses can now be attached. New gaskets and heat tubes are secured to the ceiling plate and the bolts are properly torqued. Depending on the model year vehicle, a new water valve and hose configuration may be necessary. Also, a vacuum pump or vacuum canister may need to be installed. After installing a new refrigerant dryer, three ounces of PAG oil is added and the air conditioning system is evacuated and checked for leaks. After securing the remaining electrical leads, a flat rubber duckbill is secured to the air intake drain with a tie strap. After installation of the air induction system parts, some vehicles will require modification of the stone shield. A small portion must be cut and removed. Edge guard is placed on the newly cut edges and the stone shield is reinstalled. A self-adhesive label placed on the air cleaner housing will identify this vehicle's modified HVAC system. Proper refrigerant charges are shown on the label. To ensure complete customer satisfaction, always obtain and closely follow the instruction set provided with each kit.